final leg. So we finally got the news. The announcement was made from the International Olympic Committee. The 2020 Olympics in Tokyo were officially postponed. They will not be happening this July and August. They've been postponed to happen at least by the summer of 2021. Unfortunately, I think it was the best decision, um, you know, in the track and field world. We This is the biggest year that we have. I mean, for every sport leading up to the Olympics, all these athletes really training for it. But you know, this is the best decision uh, based on the situation that's occurring in the world right now. I mean, a lot of significant things are going to occur because of this. This has a lot of fallout. But one of the biggest things, think of the athletes who have been training. So we have some athletes like Noah Lyles, Christian Coleman, um, Dina Asher Smith, Saul Nasser. These are young athletes who've been making an imprint. They're going to have probably this is not too bad for them. They can take the year off. They can train as they can. And then they can get back to the Olympics. They're really young, so they have a lot more to go. But then you have a couple couple other athletes who are maybe coming off injury. You have athletes like um, Elaine Thompson. She's been having a little bit injury. Dina, um, Daphne Schippers. Um, you have Wade Van Niekerk, Michael Norman. Those athletes are also probably uh, pretty good for them. They get another year to rest and prep and then really get back healthy, get back for that 2021 Olympics year. But then there's a whole other subgroup of athletes. Allison Felix, Justin Gatlin, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, Veronica Campbell-Brown. All these athletes are kind of on the later side of their career. This probably would have been their final Olympics and they had a good they were in good contention to potentially medal in some of their events but now they're gonna have to push it a full other year and this is gonna push things potentially out of their favor while some of the younger athletes are getting more in their favor so we're gonna see how that affects a lot of these athletes and how they're gonna be able to adjust to things and even some other athletes someone like a Dalila Muhammad you know she's still in the form of her life but she's contending with someone like Sidney McLaughlin who's really really young and probably is gonna be on the uprise while the little Muhammad is on the downrise. She's in the, Muhammad's not in the range of like an Allison Felix or Justin Gatlin or something like that, but you know, she's in that mid range where you know she's probably contending with someone who's much younger. So it's gonna affect a lot of athletes. I'm gonna give you guys another video later on breaking down how this plays out with some of the storylines. Also, the world under 20 championships that were supposed to happen in Kenya, those also have been postponed until next year as well. So the Olympics being canceled has a lot of fallout. Go in the comments below. Let me me know what you guys think initially about the Olympics being canceled. Let me know what you think about it being postponed to 2021. Should have been postponed to 2022 when, at least in track and field, that's an off year, so there's no championships that year. Let me know what you guys think and some of the other things. Again, I'm going to come with another video and a couple other videos outlining how this is going to affect some of the athletes specifically. And I'm still going to bring a lot of videos, going to bring a couple things, some, you know, uh, predictions on what might have happened during the 2020 season. So keep tuning in. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below on your thoughts, and we'll be back again for the next video. Thanks.